Hi, so this isn't anything new uh, for a lot of people. If you've ever tried sending an email that is over 25 megabytes, most email clients won't handle it, especially if you're like using Yahoo or Outlook. Uh, Gmail has uh, some slightly different options to where it'll let you use Google Drive, but in any case, you can't attach a large file to an email without getting a warning that it's not gonna go through or you know having to go through some alternate methods. I recently came across this. It was actually suggested by a family friend that this is a great solution for sending larger files, and then it even gives you some other options as far as making the link expire so it's not available after a certain amount of time. Uh, just to give you an idea of what I was doing, uh, let's go to our Gmail here, and I tried to upload this file. It was a piece of footage that I needed to send over, and here it says that, hey, anything 25 megabytes or larger, you're gonna have to get a Google Drive link to send it over. Now, this is a great thing to do if you use Gmail, but if you're like on Yahoo or any one of these other providers that don't have like a cloud storage solution, you're going to be out of luck. Uh, you do have other options like uh, AirDrop from iCloud. So Apple does give you an alternative for that. But this option comes from Firefox. So you know they're trusted. Uh, the service works really well. They give you the ability to send up to one gigabyte for free without having to sign up. If you do uh, want to send something larger up to 2.5 gigabytes, which is almost like a DVD, uh, they want you to sign up for the service, which is just essentially Firefox uh, syncing data for your browser and stuff like that. But let's just give this a, t a test without creating a profile and see how it works. Uh, so I have these video files here and I know that this one is 69 megabytes. I'm going to put it in here. All right. looks like it uploaded and it also lets you send multiple files at once. And then you have the option to expire after a number of downloads so only one download or two downloads can happen so that you know it can't be continuously downloaded also you have the option of having it expire after a day so i think i'll do that because this is like confidential footage and i need it to be erased after a certain amount of time and i'm going to protect it with a password so that this way if it gets into the wrong hands potentially you know or if somebody's browser is open they won't be able to see it because they need to have the password so let's put in a password and let's hit upload and see what happens. Once it's complete, it'll give you a link. You can go ahead and copy it, hit okay. And then let's see what it looks like once we e email it over. So I'm gonna hit cancel for Google because I don't wanna do that. I'm gonna paste this link in here. All right, footage, uh, test send with Firefox. All right, I don't even know it's uppercase or not, but find Firefox, all right? And let's give it a send and see what it looks like. It comes through here as a regular email, and here's the download link. Let's see what happens when we open it. All right, the file was shared via Firefox Send with end-to-end -end encryption and a link that expires automatically. Let's type in a password that we created and unlock and download. All right, just like that, uh, it gives you the options to download. The download is pretty fast. The upload process was a little bit slower and that's probably dependent on your uh, internet connection or they may, may also have some limits in their bandwidth or how it gets uploaded, who knows. But in any case, uh, pretty reliable. The file downloads, no problem. Uh, you get a secure, clean experience. Uh, so that sums it up. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you next time.